Hello, and welcome back for part 9 of this series on creating games using Construct 2. In part 8, we added a timer to our game. So again, our game, we're jumping around on these platforms that are moving. We're dodging the bullets from the turret. We get points the longer we survive. And then now we added a timer to our game as well. So we can only play for, I think we had 10 seconds in the previous example. So what we're going to talk about in this video is adding a start screen. So right now we just have that one game screen and anytime we lose, if we hit a bullet or fall off the, fall off the screen, uh, we just restart the layout. But now we want to actually go to a start screen. So let's go ahead and get started. So in Construct 2, any kind of levels or extra screen, start, end screen, about screen, stuff like that, Anything that we want to add, we can do in the form of another layout. So right now we just have our layout one and event sheet one. And let me make this project pane a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go in and first rename these uh, layout and event sheets that we have. I'm going to do uh, uh, game layout. And then I'm going to rename the event sheet to game event sheet. That way we know what they are. Now we need to go in and add our layout and event sheet for the start screen. So I can right click on the layouts folder and choose add layout. And then we can either add an event sheet or not. And I want to do, I want to go ahead and add one. So I'll do add event sheet. Now the layout should pop up and let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole thing. Maybe one more. All right. So this is our blank start screen. And we just want a couple of simple things on the screen. We want a, a text that shows the, let's say, the title of the game. And then just a simple play button, right? So a couple of text objects we need to add. So let's start. Well, first of all, let's go over here and rename these layouts. So I'll rename this the layout to start layout. And then I'll rename the event sheet to start event sheet. That way we know which one is which. All right, so now let's go ahead and add the text object for our title. So let's double click here, select text, and I'll call it title text, insert, and I'll put it somewhere up at the top. I'm gonna make this a lot bigger. So I'll make this, uh, let's say 800 by 200. And then I'm gonna come in and resize it so it's as big as it can go, 72. I'll make it bold, okay. And then I want to center everything, All right? And then I'm gonna rename it from text to game name and you can go in and change this to whatever your game is called. So that's our game name. And now we wanna add another uh, text object to basically be our uh, play button. So it'll say play, we'll click on it, we'll go to the game. So let's double click, add another text, and call it play button. Now this might seem a little confusing because there is a button here, there is a button object, but it's not as customizable as the text object, so that's why I use the text. Um, either way is fine, but you just get more customization with the text object. So I'll insert that, I'll click somewhere in the middle, I'm going to resize that one as well. Let's say 500 by 200. Actually, we could probably have that be 100 to fit a little better. I'm going to center the text like we've been doing. So center horizontally and vertically. And then come in and set the font size to, let's do 48. So a little bit smaller than the title, but still pl plenty big. I'll make this a little bit taller. All right, so we want this to say play. And now very simply, the logic here is when we click on that play button, we go to our game layout. And the way we handle clicks and touches and determining whether or not we click or touch on an object is with the touch object. So this touch object um, is very nice because it handles both click input and touch. So if you're developing for um, a mobile game of some sort. It could be, let's say, on Windows 8. And on Windows 8, you might have a mouse if you're dealing with a laptop or a desktop. Or you might just have touch if you're just dealing with a tablet. So it handles both of those. So to add a touch object, just double click and select touch. And we just need to insert it. That's all we need to do. 
and it will show up over here on the right under our object types. So there's the touch object. And now let's open the start event sheet. And we just need to add that simple logic for when we click on the play button, we go to our game layout. So let's add event and we're going to do the touch and on touched object. And then we want to select our play button. So when we click our play button, it's going to be the event and done. And then the action is going to be system go to layout. So go to layout. And then we can choose which layout we want to go to. And obviously from start, we want to go to game. So you could use that system go to layout. You could use for different levels, different pages in your game, whatever it is. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward, but pretty useful. So let me, let's see, let's go to our start layout and let's run that. Get it to pop up. And let me refresh. All right, so here, let me close out some of these tabs too. All right, so we click this play button. And now we should go into our game. But when we lose, we still restart, right? So instead of restarting, we probably want to go back to our start screen, right? So let's go ahead and add that. It's going to be very similar to what we just did. And let's get into our game event sheet. So instead of these restart layouts that we've been using, let's say we've got one here, we've got two, and then three. So instead of using those, we can just double click to open and edit those. And then instead of restarting layout, we can go to layout and we can go to start layout. So done. And I'm going to do that for each one of these. So restart layout, I'll change to go to layout and go to start and done. And then one more at the bottom. When the timer expires, we'll want to go back to the start layout as well. All right, so let's run, let's open up our start layout again and run that. All right, so here it is, so let's play. And if we lose, we come back to our start screen, we click play again, we play our game. Everything's working how we expect. Awesome. So uh, stay tuned for the next videos. We'll get into more, uh, more details for Construct 2.